Hi, and welcome to MI to Me A Guy. Today we'll be building the Kyosho Scorpion. I've been interested in this kit since I was a kid, and this car won the Roar National Championship in 1985. The first thing you notice when you open this kit is the great presentation with old school blister packs. You also notice that some of the main things have been built for you that just need a little bit of work. So you've got pre-made shocks that just need oil uh, put in them. Uh, you've got your uh, gear diff uh, right here that's already uh, been assembled. Uh, you see some of your transmission here has already been assembled. Uh, and then some simple things like the wheels and tires have already been mated. Uh, so there's kind of a great start just uh, right off the bat. So the rest of the kit is in this one white box. So we'll open it up and see what we have. And here we go, ready to get started with bag A. So here's step one, uh, just kind of putting some of the chassis rails together. Here's the finished servo saver and servo saver mount. Just wanna make sure that this moves freely. Uh, they kind of show that you tighten it down and then go one quarter turn back. Uh, and this kind of completes uh, bag A. The only thing that was a little difficult is getting this E-clip on. Uh, it was a little tighter than I thought. Kind of had to play with the spring a little bit and make sure I compress it correctly to get it on, but nothing too crazy. And we'll move on to bag B. Here's the first part of bag B, the main chassis steering assembly attached. Here's the completed gearbox assembly. Now we open bag C. So now we're off to the shocks. It's a little comical to uh, take some shocks apart to add the oil and then put them together. But these feel really good. They're uh, they're pretty smooth already with no oil, so I'm expecting them to be really great. Shocks built, uh, nothing really crazy about those. Pretty standard, and they feel nice and smooth. So as you're installing the rear suspension post, just take a look here. This piece has one higher hole and one lower hole. So if you uh, reverse that, uh, the pin won't uh, go at the right angle. So you just have to be careful to make sure you put that correct uh, so that the highest point is pointing to the outside of the chassis. Here's the finished rear arm assembly, nice and smooth with very little play. Time to open bag D. So I'm building the turnbuckles now for the front end. Uh, Kyosho gives you these two little turners here for the turnbuckles, but I prefer just putting a little bit of this green slime right into the end of the turnbuckle eyelet. And they're really not too hard to turn, so I actually haven't used um, these at all. I've just been turning them and they turn pretty easily. So no big deal, uh, almost done with these. Here's a picture of the front assembly completed. Nothing too terribly difficult, uh, just some connection points. Now we're on to step 24, where we start putting together the final parts of the chassis tub. It's time to mount the servo, and uh, we're going to use a ProTech RC100 SS. Uh, I've been using a bunch of these ProTech servos, and uh, I really like them so far, so I'm going to stick with them in this build. So for the ESC, we're going to use a Hobby Wing 1060 brushed. Uh, I've had really good luck with these. They're very affordable, uh, waterproof, and I personally have had zero failures with them. So they're just kind of quick and easy, plug and play. So 
Opening bag E. Uh, car's really coming together now. We're on to step 33 where it uh, shows the gluing of the tires. I will say it's very interesting. The rears are very soft and the fronts are extremely hard. So it'll be interesting to see how it handles with those two tire compounds. Tires are on, we're almost there. And here we go with the car, totally completed and built.